I got to sit down with director Laura Gabbard and food critic Jonathan Gold, who stars in the film City of Gold, which has been described as a love letter to L.A. Laura, um, your films seem to have a kind of theme of disruption. Why did you choose to do this film revolving around Jonathan, and how does this film also kind of keep, maintain the thread in your career? I think that's true. I think that's an interesting observation. I mean, the, the, the motivation for making this film really um, was really about you know the fact that Jonathan's writing made me see Los Angeles in a different way. And I started reading Jonathan's work, and it really changed the way I thought about the city, and it got me out of my neighborhood, and I started to really see how kind of complex and beautiful the city was. And Jonathan, your reviews have brought business to less popular neighborhoods and have made careers for struggling immigrant chefs. Do you see yourself as an advocate for those on the margins of food culture? I think I probably have been that, but it's but it's not my job. I, mean, I just write about what I'm excited about. The Laura, um, restaurants are really high impact, very fast paced environments. And a lot of the shots that you captured um, were these moments where the restaurateurs uh, were realizing that there was a food critic in their dining room. How big was your crew and how did you maintain that level of authenticity in capturing those moments? One of the ground rules in making the documentary with Jonathan is that we were not allowed to, to film Jonathan actually reviewing a restaurant. So okay. we never did that. Okay. We mostly just followed him to places that he'd already reviewed and that he loved and that sort of kind of quintessential Jonathan Gold restaurants. Um, mostly our crew was me and a camera guy and a sound guy. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we'd have two cameras, but rarely. What cameras did you shoot with? We shot over five years, so the formats changed, unfortunately, uh -huh. which made it tricky in post, but, um, but mostly the C300. Jonathan, uh, many critics insist on concealing their identity for the authenticity of the review experience. Um, are you nervous at all that the publicity and press around this movie will have a negative impact on your career? I don't think it'll have a negative impact on my career. And the thing that everybody who actually reviews restaurants for a living knows is that they figure out who you are. And I think one more question, because I know you guys are on a tight schedule. It's the question I want to know most. Where do you get the best birria in L.A.? Oh, I, I <laughs> love birria. It's one of my favorite dishes. The, the, the goat, goat stew from Jalisco. Um, my favorite is still El Parion on, um, on Pico Boulevard near Union. Um, it's also the name of the one, one of the best uh, birria restaurants in Guadalajara. Um, though I don't think they're related, but it's... Just the flavor of the goat consomme and the, the crispy roasted goat that's in the soup and it's really pleasing to me. And I, when I did, when I took a uh, produce from the, This American Life there, um, I took real satisfaction in knowing that it was probably the first time that the cl a close might goat carcass being hacked up <laughs> had ever appeared on your <laughs> Be sure to tune in tomorrow to How We Make Movies on StudioDaily.com. We'll be hanging out with the filmmakers behind the new film, Turbo Kid.